Welcome to our video analytics interview series. I have the pleasure to talk to Matt today. Matt is the marketing manager for video analytics at Bosch. Welcome, Matt. Thank you so much for having me. So let's start off. Uh, Matt, can you tell us what kind of outcomes can we together deliver to our end users? The Genetech partnership with Bosch is one of the longest standing integration partnerships in the industry, and it's extraordinarily deep. We're very proud of that. Uh, so the list is pretty long. Uh, for me, being specialized in video analytics, I think the two things that stand out most uh, are both based on Genetech's ability to ingest metadata from Bosch cameras and show that to users in a, in a human readable and usable form. So the first example of that would be the Genetech Restricted Security Area product, RSA, and the ability to ingest location data from a Bosch camera and then show that to a user. The other thing is just dashboarding, uh, you know, counts of people and vehicles, et cetera, and being able to provide a situational awareness to the user about some business intelligence things that kind of go beyond the scope of security. All right, yeah, especially in traffic, uh, we have great solutions together and RSA is a great example. Absolutely. So can you name us uh, three things that really stand out uh, for the video analytics solutions of Bosch? I would say the biggest one is maturity. Uh, our success in this arena isn't theoretical. We've got 20 plus years of experience in video analytics. Uh, we also have a lot of joint development with our mobility solutions that do things like autonomous driving and, and are heavily reliant on video analytics. And so we understand where the gotchas are, I think a little bit better than some of the other solutions on the market. Uh, it's one thing to have analytics on a data sheet. It's another thing entirely to get them to work in the messy real world. Uh, so that maturity is, is really a level beyond uh, what some of the other products offer. Uh, video analytics themselves is, has always been part of the Bosch value proposition and the ability to do things on the edge. Uh, which also allows us to be uh, compatible with and complement some of the stuff that you guys do server side. Um, the last thing is cybersecurity. And, and this is something that maybe isn't the most glamorous to talk about, uh, but Bosch and Genetech have been uh, developing and maintaining an end-to-end -end security approach that is absolutely unrivaled in the industry. So uh, data in all three phases uh, in use, in transit, and at rest is protected. Um, and that cybersecurity story is really important to some of the largest customers on the planet. I absolutely agree. Cybersecurity is super important to both of our companies, and uh, I'm, I'm great we have this partnership. Yeah. And I also want to definitely agree on the maturity of video analytics. Um, there's so much talk about it, but it's so so different when you actually deploy it. So absolutely. maturity is very important. So uh, can you share anything exciting? What's what's new with Bosch? What is exciting out there? Yeah. So I mean, you mentioned video analytics in the real world, and uh, I joke with people all the time that the trick to video analytics in, in real life in the wild is typically not getting them to go off; it's getting them not to. And, and getting specifically to what you want without a bunch of false alarms. So the big news at Bosch and in the, in the industry as a whole is the application of deep neural networks for video analytics. Uh, of course, that's allowing a level of accuracy that we didn't have access to uh, you know, 10 years ago. But I think maybe even more importantly, it gives us access to some markets that we couldn't do before. So you know, five, 10 years ago, if we're, if we're surveilling a a uh, fence line or something of that nature. Uh, we were very good at that. But when you get into complex scenes, uh, you know, airport concourses and train stations and, and crowded schools, uh, we would kind of meet the limits of that technology. With these neural networks, we can now do analytics in the places where they're most useful, which is these complex scenes with a lot of simultaneous tracked objects. Yeah, so really high accuracy that enable more use cases than you could previously do. Absolutely. That's great. Um, so to finish off, what are the three things our end users should really think about uh, Bosch first when it comes to video analytics? You teed me up perfectly. Uh, accurate video analytics. This is something that's really challenging. Uh, 10 years ago, Bosch would, was able to walk into a conference room and say, hey, we have video analytics. And we were kind of the only game in town for edge-based analytics. Now everybody has that on their data sheet. But as I mentioned before, video analytics don't live in a data sheet. They live in a messy, unstructured real world. So it's one thing to say you can do this. It's another thing to get it to work in the wild. And as I mentioned, we have a very mature product. Uh, our levels of accuracy are uh, pretty astounding when you see the product in action. And so it doesn't do any good to collect unusable data. We need accurate data to feed Genetex dashboards, to feed RSA and some of these components. Uh, so that's the first thing. Um, 
The second thing is the cybersecurity story. Uh, of course, you guys do access control as well. Uh, so that's kind of the most basic form of security. We, we need to lock the doors, right? Mm -hmm. But so often customers are leaving the doors to their network unlocked. And in some cases you would argue that's the, the more important building. So uh, the ability to have that cybersecurity component to go with the physical security component is huge. Uh, last but not least, uh, I would say image quality. At mm -hmm. the end of the day, these are cameras, we're taking pictures. The thing that people forget is all of these video analytics and these things that we're doing with video ride on that picture. Mm -hmm. You can't analyze a bad picture well. So you have to start with that great picture. Uh, and that's not just at two in the afternoon. Anybody can take a good picture on a day like today, but at two in the morning when, when things are really going bad, that's when you have to have a great picture to analyze and Bosch still delivers the best pictures in the industry. All right, sounds very exciting. Thank you, Matt. Yeah. Uh, thank you for coming and doing this and giving us an update. Super exciting. You bet. Thank you.